Hi, thank you. Hi, I'm Edward from the Poetry Cohort. I'm a Southeast Asian guy with shaved head, wearing a black frame glass and a teal shirt with black lines. Um, my background is blurred, but I'm in a room with gray walls and there's a large black and white painting behind me. Uh, I'll be reading two shortish poems. Um, the first one is called Multilingual. To speak the language you're now most fluent in while recognizing it's not the first or even the second one that echoed on walls of your childhood room and dream in a tongue that is not your mother's, a freshwater river passing through foreign soil, seeking its own level on a salty bed, forever patching the breach in your speech that spills the birthmark of your origin. Must you choose? between husband or son is to know multiple languages and be sentenced to use just one. Continuing this language theme, <laughs> I'm gonna read uh, my second poem. It's called Speaking of Love, Han Qing Shuo Ai. Falling in love in Mandarin is to talk love and dating is literally a conversation of love. How have I not seen this before? But of course, how even then at whisper for hours into ears glued to phones and scribble breathlessly gushing promises of forever and evermore, printing on color papers, laminating them into bookmarks as evidence of our doomed yearnings and exercised in anguished sufferings. What did I know then? We were but puppies in training, learning lines to a Romeo and Juliet kind of forbidden affair, dress rehearsing a demise that any burgeoning queer kid in the 90s will into it as future, selling out packed houses, a lifetime run of inevitable tragedy, returned to the court of Shakespeare's sonnets and Neruda's poems, love is language and not simply metaphor or an overused self-help term so catch your words as they spill out in exchanges with yourself and others. Watch them well and care for them. A love will just as easily fall out of you. Thank you.